welcome back to another episode of Blazing Shovels Metal Detecting. And yes, you did read right in the title of this video. I did find an 8 real in a um, mining camp here in Calaveras County, and it was freaking amazing. Um, so anyway, this this video, I've been kind of like in a dry spell, uh, finding things here and there. But um, this video is going to be like a culmination of a bunch of different little like hunts that I did and things that I found. Unfortunately, it wasn't just one big hunt where I found a bunch of cool stuff. Those were the best ones, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be a bunch of different videos showing everything that I found. And then you will see the 8 real. It is freaking amazing. It's in beautiful shape. I would say pretty close to um, uncirculated, um, maybe even a high AU. I don't know. But um, I'm probably going to send it in, actually, to the PCGA and uh, see if they can grade that thing for me. Um, I already got a bunch of people wanting to buy it from me, so got to get the best price. Anyway, well, I'm going to uh, let you guys get to watching the video, and we will see you on the first find. All right, guys, got my first find here. Um, there's a little flat right here. So someone was camping there, but there's not a lot of iron in that one. Um, and then there's another little flat right up that way. Um, I don't, you probably can't see it from here because it's so thick and trees right here. So I figured maybe someone was walking in between these two and there's gotta be something laying around here somewhere. Uh, anyway, I come across this. Check that out, old lock. Oh, oh it's falling apart. Wait, hold on. No, that's just dirt. Oh, it's just the cover plate. But look at this. It says something right there on it. And I can't really read it, but I'll get that thing cleaned up and see what that says. Maybe I can figure out what the, who the maker of this thing was. But anyway, old lock plate. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to keep on hunting around this area, see if we can find something else right here. Uh, and then work my way back down over towards the pond. That's where a majority of the stuff was. But anyway, lock plate, not bad. See you on the next find. All right, guys, I got my next find here, and I'm pretty shocked, actually. I'm up on this hillside. It's out in the middle of nowhere, and I just noticed a little flat, and I'm just kind of ran into some iron. So you're going to hear it there. Then I got this tone, solid, I don't know, it's reading like 69, 70, I'd say solid. I pulled it out and I wasn't expecting anything, maybe a sh like a shotgun bite or something, but then check that out. Look at that, old military button, still got the shank on it. So crazy that it was out, literally out here just in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's like a little gulch right down there, but that's it. But anyway, yeah, it's still got gold gilt on it. That thing is bad ass. All right, guys, got my next find here. Uh, I'm in the middle of this little cow trail that comes across here, like so. And it heads back over to where we we're finding a lot of stuff. And then there's the reservoir up here. So I'm not sure what this is, but I think I know, and there it is. I think it's part of a wreath. It's a small one and it's cast. I don't know, I, I know some of my buckle uh, guys out there will know, but anyway, there that is. Maybe someone knows what that is part of or uh, what kind of buckle that is part of, but no like uh, markings on it or anything like that. So I don't know, um, anyway. I'm gonna keep on hunting around here, see what else I can find. Part of a wreath. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. Kino was singing, singing me a song, serenading me, really. And it led me to this sweet ass relic, no big deal. Anyway, on my next find here, I'll, I'll put it up to my headphones. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's ringing like an 80. So anyway, we're at this little spot, the same spot where I found that button actually, and pop this bad boy out, no big deal. Look at that. I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's I know it's a woodworking tool. I know that for sure. 
but um, if someone knows what this is, please leave it in the comments and we'll uh, find out together if you were. But yeah, this thing is sweet. So I'm gonna see if Kino wants to repurpose this, put a handle on it, and then maybe I'll ship it off to one of you guys if one of you guys want it. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on hunting here. See what see what the hell else is in here. I don't know. Probably something stupid like a gold coin. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, got my next find here. Uh, it's not great, but I don't know what it is. I'm mean, well. I know it's a bullet, but I, I know there's like the two ringers, the three ringers so on and so forth but i find a lot of these and i'm not sure what um like caliber or what, like how old or what kind of gun this came from or whatever um so if any of my bullet people out there know what this thing is uh please let me know as far as like caliber or like age or whatever so anyway there's that not the greatest find in the world but it's something better than a bottle cap or something in the park. All right, guys, the time has come to reveal the 8 Real 1850 JMR. There it is. Look how beautiful and shape that thing is. And you see the back of it. Let me get a better... Obviously... This video is not doing any justice. I think that it's not focusing exactly on it, but there it is. Um, yeah, this thing was screaming in the ground. I thought it was a tin can or a buckle or something. So, unfortunately, I did not film digging this thing. It, I'll tell you why. It was a new spot, and Ray was with me and his son, and immediately Ray found... Like, literally, immediately, this, I don't know, five minutes into being there, Ray found an 1835 capped bus half dime. Um, so it was just, we were frantically just hunting. Uh, as soon as he pulled that out, we didn't want to uh, waste any time. I wasn't even thinking about filming. I was just trying to get to whatever relics or coins I can get to before Ray or his son did. Um, so, unfortunately, I didn't film it. But I have something even better so I hired a trained professional actor to reenact the exact, exact moment that this thing happened. And he did a great job, if I do say so myself. I'm very happy and I shall be hiring him again to do uh, reenactments of any video or any finds that I find um, and forget to film. So anyway, on with the show. Time for the reenactment. Live in the dream. Gotta be something around here, I know it, I can just feel it in my bones. It's my sixth sense kicking in, my metal detecting sense. It's never failed me, never will. Gotta be something here. Right in this location about here. Oh yeah, baby. Let's dig this thing up. Definitely in there. Holy! What the? I can't. Yes! Holy shnikes! Oh my god, I cannot believe this. What in the hell? Oh, my God, what is this? Eight reals, 1850 JMR. That 10D, 20G, S. My God, I can't believe it. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, oh my God. I know what I gotta do. Oh, what's he want? Hello? Guess what? <laughs> you. I quit. Ooh. <laughs> mm, yes. Yes, baby. I cannot wait to get home and see how much this thing is worth. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. All right, it's time to see how much this baby's worth. What the hell do you want? Uh, hey there, hey there, bud. I got you pretty good earlier, huh? That's a good one. Yeah, I was just joking around. Uh, Anyway, um... Needless to say, James Hampton is currently seeking employment. If you have any leads, please let him know in the comments below and leave your phone number. Thank you. All right, everybody. Uh, all joking aside, that was an epic find. I, I really, really wish that I had been filming when we found this stuff. Uh, we were just so excited because it's rare that you come onto a site and then all of a sudden just immediately just finding stuff and then, you know really good stuff too so i think we were just so excited that i wasn't even thinking about uh filming i was just trying to get to the next target before rj or ray could get to it um and i think they were doing the same thing just you should seeing ray his 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 it looked like there's fire coming off the back of his detector because he was swinging it so fast we we're trying to trying to get keep ahead of each other um but yeah so you know i found that coin ray found the 1835 uh capped bust half dime rj found a uh i think it was 1795 it might have been 1791 but i'm almost sure it was 1795 uh one real uh yeah and then you know a bunch of ball buttons and flat buttons and then you know as soon as or as fast as it came to us it went away when we were there hunting for, I don't know, a couple hours, but it seemed like everything just kind of disappeared. We stopped finding stuff within 30 minutes. So it was just one little site, but I mean, it definitely produced. So anyway, that's the conclusion of this video. I really appreciate everybody watching this. Um, you know, and I, I really appreciate the people that have, have subscribed to my channel and always leave nice comments and like my videos. Um, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please do. It definitely helps me out tremendously. Um, hopefully I can just keep building this channel up to where at some point maybe I can make enough money to where I can just strictly metal detect. I know that's a long shot, but maybe it will happen and then I can make, uh, you know, concentrate on making a ton of videos and traveling around and finding new permissions. But anyway, I really appreciate everybody and we'll talk to you on the next find.